Just got to Kendall. I'm going to this op shop here, the only one they have in town, and let's see what we find. Hello, that little oppie was not that great. Um, I went to Vinny, uh, Vinny's just up the road as well, and you know what I think of that. <laughs> I did nothing. Oh, the, the prices are expensive, of course, but um, I did get this little vintage hat, which I'll go on show elsewhere as well. But I always sell my vintage hats, so um, you can tell it's vintage, build the style for that too. So think about that, ladies. We used to wear those. We, our grandmothers used to wear those down the street right up to the 60s, probably early 70s. Um, but I also got something really pretty. Now, I did splurge a bit for this. It's a, um, it's called a hang on. It's it's a, one of those. It's a brooch. Okay, it's vintage brooch, and you can actually divide it into two. And I had not heard of it, so you can actually turn it into two little dress clips. And give me a second, and I'll tell you what it was actually called. Of course, I can't find the piece of paper. Hang on. Okay, um, it's called a duet. A duet brooch or a double clip brooch so yes so it's got two so you can actually pull it apart which I can't do at the moment because I have my hands full holding the camera but at the back here you just pick up the two and back in the day they used to actually wear the the um, dress clips on their dresses on each side I've got one a couple of singles in my storage shed so very very pretty uh, probably you know mid-century maybe 1930s 40s 50s I don't know it looks very like unused there but you can see, see it's older there so sadly there's no um no 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 markings on it so but anyway I thought it was pretty so I grabbed it splurged and I thought well I can always get my money back so yeah that was my two little buys at this little op shop in uh, Kendall at the community center um tomorrow hopefully I'll get some more op shops happening we'll see in Laurenton, New South Wales. Good luck Nelly and Miss Fourteen is coming too. Are you guys still doing the hand wash and the sign in? Um, yeah it seems to be some op shops do, some op shops don't. This is a really cool little op shop honestly there's so much stuff in here. Um, look at and things that weren't too, cheap, weren't too expensive either. Okay, there was nothing in the way of shoes here at all. There's some things in there. what? They're cool. <laughs> you like old lady pants. What is it? Old man pants now, Bailey.
my donkey, my camel, my personalised camel. Look at that bike. Look at that cool bike. Yeah. Look at the brakes. I've decided from now on I am going to wear clothes and shoes at Opshop. It's the second toenail I've busted. I've got bad toenails, it is. Ripped that one off in Lismore. Just kicked something then and just ripped that one completely off. <laughs> yeah, clothes and shoes from me from now on. Say it again. You're jealous. Of your beautiful man pants. Yeah. Totally. Lake Kadai, Lake Kadai Skate Park, and there's Miss Fourteen. People, it is 12.30 on a Wednesday and I am in a town called Lake Kedai right now. And I'm going to show you what I've got today. You'll have seen the shops that I just did and stuff I got the other day, but this is today, okay? Um, I am currently at the skate park. What a surprise. The skate park here is a new skate park, Lake Kedai skate park. The skate park near where we're staying has a very short skate park so she's happy now she's here she wasn't happy that I was taking so long in the op shops though so anyway guys here we go everything I got in the last couple of videos last video okay I'll show you where we're we gonna start I don't know okay so the first one we went to was one at Lauritan and it was an Anglican um, one and I have to say I think Anglican op shops are probably the my favorite because they always have lots of staff and good price that was the best um, Angli or best op shop I've been to for quite a while there was things in there that I probably would have bought if I had have had space to store stuff they had some retro pictures pictures but I have no room in the bus at all to put anything so this is what I got there okay I got this I don't know this is not in any any order it's not when I picked it up first or anything but I'm just picking up what I've got here this shirt I don't know how well it's going to go it's a wrestling shirt my boys my boys may see it and go yeah I want it <laughs> But it is only a, a, I don't know what size it is. I didn't check the size. But anyway, so I got that. It was only $4. Hopefully that will sell quite well. All the boys will get it. I know for a fact that this Nike Nike shirt for $4 will be get no further than my grandson's body. So he's 16. That'll be perfect for him. Um, I also saw a Stussy, Stussy, Stussy shirt. I've seen it before. I've left it behind. But I think it was one of the guys that I was watching the other day. Two Aussie Flippers, I think, was saying that get Stussy. Is it a Stussy? I don't even know if it's a Stussy now. No, it's not even a Stussy. Oh, well. Okay, well, it's a really cool shirt. <laughs> One of the kids will have it. I honestly thought it said Stussy, but I think it says Stray, so I'll have to look up that in a minute. Nice shirt. I might even wear it myself. Not a Stussy, okay? Put your glasses on, woman. Okay, I shall next time. Um, one thing I will be doing next time, I'll show you in a minute. Keep tuned for that. Um, it's to do with footwear. Okay, I got this really cool. 
it's like a little over jacket type thing with a little sleeveless it's like a boho sort of style um really cute pink diamond brand and i thought it was lovely i won't wear it it's not my color one and i just don't wear stuff like that but i grabbed it because it was only four dollars and i thought there'd be other people out there that would really like it it's also a large which is really good i picked up two pairs of jeans west jeans i don't know if you guys have ever been into jeans west they're actually my size sorry i'm going too fast they're my size i'm going to try them on did i get both i think i got both um jeans west jeans are super super expensive so i grabbed them both because the last pair i bought i think it was jeans west just jeans whatever um anyway i got those so hopefully i've got the right ones just jeans jeans west. i get them both mixed up i know one's really expensive more than the other nothing really exciting here to show you guys i'm sorry um i got this vintage miss did you see the video of her the stuff that she was picking out my goodness she's actually got the pants on now which i'll show you shortly <laughs> she's got odd taste my girl um this is a vintage pure new wool it looks like a 1980s jumper i'm pretty sure it's 1980s so yeah i picked it up because i'm always on the hunt out hunt for the 1980s style ones but yeah this is in really good condition it's got the smell of nice wool um yeah made in australia which is something very very rare now so yeah it was it was six dollars it's the biggest the most i paid in that op shop was this was this jumper but this i reckon i'll get a good bit of money for that one now especially now it's coming on the winter um i think there was not there was the other pair of just jeans there oh this is what the other thing was i picked up a heap of, i've run out of my i usually when i wrap i always wrap my stuff i'm going to try something different soon but i always wrap all my gear and i've got stuff to send this afternoon but i've run out of what i usually buy is secondhand unused um uh paper patterns and i've just run out so i've picked up a whole heap of this crate paper 50 cents a packet so that will do for me for now for wrapping up people's stuff that i want to um send off and as you can see i'm well organized everything's fallen down on the floor i'm still here sorry okay this was five dollars okay it has the case with it it is a fine picks 7 s 7000 i just googled fine picks googled i looked on eva I eBay comped and looked on this um, fine picks and it had some really good comps on it. So for five bucks, I thought that's all okay. Otherwise, it will go into it's a fly in here. Um, my collection of old cameras and it will be really, really old camera one day. And some books. I think I've got books in there as well. So oh, bear with me, guys. I'm a mess again, as always. But I've got to get it done. I've got to get it done because tomorrow we're off again. Um, I've got some more Roald Dahl books, I've got some Thomas books, and I'm going to put the Thomas books uh, with the Duna with the train track, I think. I've actually listed the Duna, but if it doesn't sell soon, I'll put up the train tracks that you saw last time in with that and do a bundle. Now, there was other books. I've got The Secret, and um, I wasn't going to get it, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to get it. And I've got The Secret. I've had it before. I might read it again. Probably will read it. And... I think that was all of that. Oh no, I've got some other stuff at that op shop. Where are they? Really pretty stuff too. Oh, I got these. I got this really awesome vintage um, sheet set, sheet and pillowcase set. It's got all the Disney characters on it. It's got Bambi, Bambi, and it's got Winnie, of course. I picked it up because it's got Winnie, you know, for my granddaughter who is 20 and loves Winnie. Um, <laughs> uh, it's got Pinocchio. It's got a heap of heap of ones on it it doesn't say all it says is it's uh walt disney productions but i can't find a year date so hopefully i'll find that later when i look for the tag but i can't need to wash um oh it's got an extra oh it's got two sheets oh that's even better so yeah two sheets and those for only three dollars fifty so that was pretty cool i think it was three dollars three dollars fifty yeah anyway and i paid for all that so that all came to 35 dollars for everything and then i realized i'd forgotten to pick my brooches up that i got when i first walked in and so she just says oh don't worry about it you have those so i've got this little um looks like a 1980s zebra where's the camera over there zebra and also this unusual one and the reason i got it so i don't think it's that that old just that it's got an unusual backing to it so that's why i got it um yeah the pin on the back is just really unusually it's unusual so because yeah it's just unusual so that's why i got it so the road that was lauriton so look, lake had always about 15 minutes away so we went up there she was so impatient as you saw she was really doing well with being my camel 
when I got to the next stop shop, which is called Hope, which is pretty good and not too expensive either, um, I didn't have any hands to video anything, plus the shop was very small and there was a lot of people in there. So I ended up not videoing anything really, I don't think. Um, but I got some, I'm hoping these fit me because I am the blue grass jeans, but they're very similar to my Levi 5i1s that I wear everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm hoping they fit. They're men's as well. So I'm always after the bootleg jeans. I'm old school that way. So hopefully they're only a dollar. And then I got these two shirts for a dollar each. It was uh, Blue Dog, I think it's called. Yeah, I've had Blue Dog before. I'm to find, I think I might have sold him. Or it's a kid's one. I can't remember. Might be in storage. I don't know. I've had Blue Dog before. So it was a really nice shirt. I actually don't mind that myself, even though I don't like wearing anything with collars. Um, you would have seen the damage I did to my toe. <laughs> I had to cut my nail completely off. I also got this one, uh, just jeans shirt, extra small for a dollar. That was good. And then I got a Thomas the Tank jumper to go with the rest of the Thomas the Tank. And this is a 2010 one. And it's so cute. Sometimes I just wish I had a little baby in my life again. And then I think, no, you don't, because they turn into teenagers. I got some four books, Roll Dial. They were, only, they were six for a dollar. So I really scored there. They had a heap of, I should, probably should have got more. But I got those to go in the collection I already have. Um, and Diary of a Wimpy Kid as well. Or did I say that? Yeah, Roll Dial. So Roll Dial and Diary of a Wimpy Kid, six for a dollar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so six for a dollar. Some more of these My Little Ponies, and they were $2 for the whole packet, so I grabbed those, and I got this craft bag for three. <laughs> and I got a craft bag for three if I ever start crocheting again. I think that's all I've got to show you. It's pretty boring for you guys. I know, I'm sorry, and I'm ducking in and out, but um, I'll add a few other pictures in here, and yeah, see you next time. Don't forget, I'll be in Port Macquarie tomorrow. I'm going op shopping hoping to hunt down some vintage it's very 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 rare um, the shop in um, Loriton had some really good stuff like crockery stuff and it was not expensive like a lot of places are so that was really good um, I just not stuff that I would I would buy um, especially when we're in the bus maybe if I wasn't in the bus I would but anyway thanks for watching guys I will see you next time in the meantime happy hunting bye